so <coughs> so let me move on so my so my name is bharat and my registration number is 170022 so my topic is basically a reverse carpot cycle for the capstone course 14 me 730 <coughs> so about the top presentation title is nothing but reverse cannot cycle so before uh, moving on to the topic let me define the word of the first of carrying the cannot cycle reverse is nothing but uh, doing it as an opposite direction it is nothing but reversing so we are going to reverse the process of cannot cycle in the direction of eat and work interaction a basic a small definition of of what a reverse cannot cycle is a refrigerator or a heat pump that operates on the reversed cannot cycle is called as a ref, uh, cannot refrigerator or a cannot heat pump so to be very frank or uh, to be very honest uh, the reverse cannot cycle is the most efficient refrigeration cycle operating between two specified temperature levels actually so it also it also provides the maximum coefficient of performance so this is nothing but an no normal cannot refrigerator cycle so evaporator compresses the contents and turbine are the parts which uh, forms the basis which forms the basic part of a cannot refrigerator normal cannot refrigerator not in a reverse cannot refrigerator so we have uh, nearly four processes over here from one to two it is nothing but absorption process for a from the cold medium tl uh, in the amount of cure and two to three it is nothing but a compression process which rises to a temperature of ts and three to four is nothing but a um, so nothing but an registration process where I eat a TH is uh, registered in amount of QH. Uh, and one important point to be noted here is so the refrigeration state changes from saturated vapor state to saturated liquid state. And the 4 to 1 is nothing but an expansion process where the temperature drops to TH. So this are, these forms the basic process of an normal carnot refrigerator. So this is the temperature. Uh, the TS diagram we have been obtained. So now moving on to our topic on reverse cannot cycle, which consists of four processes namely adiabatic compression, isothermal compression, adiabatic expansion, and isothermal expansion. So two adiabatic processes and two, two isothermal and two compression and two expansion. So this is the basic graph we have been obtained. So the process one to two is nothing but an adiabatic compression, two to three is nothing but isothermal compression. 3 to 4 is an adiabatic expansion and 4 to 1 it is nothing but an isothermal expansion. So adiabatic compression. Compression is nothing but a temperature rise from temperature T2 to T where the working fluid, uh, the, the external work is done by the working fluid. And the second process is isothermal compression where in heat is registered at a constant high temperature T level. It is, it is registered in the form of constant level. And the third 3 to 4 is nothing but an adiabatic expansion. Uh, where the temperature falls from T2 to T1, it is, uh, it, it is a temperature falls here. So now the last process of nothing but a 4 to 1, it is nothing but isothermal expansion, uh, where heat is absorbed, it is called as T, T2. So, the heat, uh, so one point to be noted here is the heat absorption is denoted as Q2 and heat rejected is denoted as T1. So the graph obtained from this cycle is known as a site. Which operates in a reverse direction to one Carnot cycle, which we mainly call it as counterclockwise direction. So, this is called as a reverse Carnot cycle, and this process is known as reverse Carnot cycle process. So, now calculating the coefficient of performance of refrigerator, normal refrigerator, the heat absorbed, as I said earlier, Q, it is denoted as Q2, heat rejected is denoted as Q1. So, the work input is nothing but heat rejected minus heat absorbed. So, we calculate the coefficient of performance of a rejector. Now to calculate the coefficient of performance of an entire system, it is nothing but heat absorbed divided by the work supply. So work supply is nothing but heat rejected minus heat absorbed. We calculate we calculate entirely using the formula. And now one point to be remembered here is even though reverse cannot cycle, as I said earlier, it, it offers highest efficiency, highest coefficient of performance, but it cannot be used as a refrigeration purpose because because adiabatic process requires a very high speed operation but here it offers the isothermal process which requires very low speed operation so it cannot be used as for a normal day to day refrigeration process even though it offers the highest efficiency so you need a basic and understanding of what a reverse cannot cycle and this is the normal working of a reverse cannot cycle and which operates in reverse, reverse direction does not have a reverse cannot cycle and this is the basic formula for calculating coefficient of performance of the reference.